Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning from See Through Web, and in this Typo 3 tutorial video, part of the Red Tie series where we're looking at how to implement an HTML template in Typo 3, aimed at uh, developers or folks learning to use Typo 3, what we're going to look at doing is uh, mapping out this top address section here. Right now it's just information that exists on the HTML template, but I would like that to be available to be edited through Typo 3. It's not the kind of thing that's going to be edited every day, but once a year, once a month, anytime the phone number or the address or that kind of thing uh, changes, it would need to be edited. It would be better, in my mind, if it's done through Typo 3 as opposed to messing with HTML templates. So to do that, we're going to do it in the back end, but before I do that, I just want to have a quick look at the structure, the HTML structure surrounding it. I could view the source, but as I have Firebug here, I'm just going to use Firebug, and actually there it is already. I click on that section, and yeah, that's our text there, and it's in a section called div class equals body text. Great. Okay, so let's go to the back end, and I'm already logged in. Let me flip over here. There we go, and if we click on page, of course, we'll see the page tree. I'm going to go to template, voila, and we're going to need to create a new section. So I'm going to click on my storage folder, and if I uh, click here now for update mapping, and if I click on mapping, I'll see the structures we have now, and we're going to need a new one for that area. So I'm going to go back to information, click on modify DSTO, say OK, and let's call it uh, field top info, for instance. We're going to add that. We now have a new section. And uh, I'm going to shrink down this left side so we can see more. There we go. Uh, let's call it top info. And it's going to be... It's not going to be a regular content section that the clients are going to edit regularly. Oh, you probably can't see the bottom. Let's move this up a little bit. We're going to make it a uh, typo script object path. And what that will be is it'll be a section that can be editable through the typo script config. So it's something more likely an admin uh, person is going to do. Uh, so it can be edited as, as a typo script, but not as a, like a page element. So let's add that. When I do that, uh, we also need to go to the TypoScript section here and give it a name. The object path is going to be uh, top info. If you remember when we were editing the menus, if you saw the menu section, there was like lib main menu. Well, this is where we define what that's going to be, top info. We're going to update that, and we're going to map it we are going to say that, okay, so we're in the HTML source view here. We're looking at the page template. Let's get the visual. There we go. So we're going to want to map it to it's likely this div here, uh, but let me go back to source view so I know for sure. Um, yes, this one right here. And we're going to set that. Uh, we'll do an update. And now we're going to save as. We're going to resave the template. I'm going to use the same name because I don't want to change anything. And we're going to say OK. It's warning us, saying, hey, you're overriding an existing one. We're fine with that. OK, so now we have a field called top info. That's all we've got so far. Let's go to template. Uh, let's go to page. Open that back up. Click on our root page here. We've got template. So we've got our config template. Go to setup. And now we're going to do a lib dot top info, which is what we just created, equals text. And you have to look up what this is on type 3org or you can take my word for it that this will work. We're going to lib dot top info value equals, and let's just put one line in here for now, company name. Let's save that. Clear the cache. Flip back to the front end, do a refresh, and there we go. That text is now changed to company name. Let's flip to the back end and flush that out a little more. I'm going to do a multi-line uh, description here. Uh, and when we do that, instead of using the equal sign, we put a round bracket to start it and a round bracket to end it. And let's save that. Go back to the front end and refresh. And there we go. Oh, this is actually just raw text, so we'll want to put some HTML formatting in there. So let's do that again. I put some breaks in this time, save that, go to the front end, and refresh, and there you go. 